we started in January of 2009, and basically uh, a couple of friends of mine and myself had been working in the industry for a few years, and uh, the opportunity was really never better. Uh, our field has experienced a significant amount of growth right now, mm -hmm. so there's space for new businesses to, to enter in without having to worry about um, competing with deeply entrenched competitors. There's two bottom lines. One is we live in Maryland, so you know we like it here. Um, two, our, our businesses heavily revolves around the federal government, and the federal government is based in D.C., um, and the major DOD and Intel community customers reside primarily in Virginia and Maryland. So because so many of our customers are here, it benefits us to be here. There's other sites in the United States that are important for the kind of work we do, but this is sort of the headquarters, if you will, of, of that type of work. Two main branches, two main things that we do. Um, and one of them is digital forensics, and that's a branch of forensic science. Forensic science is the application of scientific methods and principles to um, answering questions for the purposes of some form of legal question. Um, digital forensics is the specific component of that that deals with computer systems and digital media like hard drives, thumb drives, things like that. The other element of our business is computer security incident response. And essentially that is if a company experiences a failure in security, and their data uh, confidentiality, integrity, or availability of the data has been breached. Um, we come in and help them determine what happened and help them clean up and secure their network so that the same event doesn't happen again a second time if possible. So that's a seems separate. The reason we do both of those things is because there's significant overlap in the tools, techniques, and procedures associated with conducting a forensic exam and investigating what happened in a security incident. Digital forensics, we happen to specialize in mobile device forensics. That's the acquisition of an, an examination, investigation of data from mobile phones, uh, smartphones, things like that. Now everybody carries around full computers in their pockets. So the, the, the amount of available data to an investigator has increased significantly with the penetration of smartphones into the market. It's sort of a new trend in our field. It's not brand new but a lot of our competitors still focus on traditional examination of you know, Windows PCs, Windows servers, which have obviously been around for a long time. So we try to stay ahead of the curve on that, um, and if someone has a problem in that area, we're one of the go-to companies.